Today on Gardener with Greg, two of the most common diseases in the vegetable garden. Some of the plants that we love to grow in the vegetable garden are in the cucurbit family. And I just call them the Kirby family. And those include your squash, your cucumbers, your winter squash, your summer squash. A lot of those plants with the big leaves on them. And they are susceptible to two kinds of diseases, powdery mildew and downy mildew. These golden delight summer squash are yellow. Nice and pretty big bushes. They're fast growing. They mature in about 45 days. Now I've had these planted since early spring and they're getting on up in their life and they're not gonna last a whole lot longer. And they're having a little bit of disease problems in them. So let's take a look at what we got. You see this leaf here, it's got all the white on there. Well, that's powdery mildew and it is exactly that. It is a mildew. So you see they're starting to affect the leaf all over and it'll start degrading that leaf down. Now we see a lot of this powdery mildew when the temperatures get real hot, we have a lot of high humidity and we have a lot of moisture in the air. Now these summer squash are getting toward the end of their life and I probably won't treat them for this disease. But if I had it early on, I could treat it with a product we got called bicarb. And bicarb will actually cure this disease, which is very unusual. It disrupts the cell in that mildew and will cure it. Also, it's always important to plant disease resistant, mildew resistant varieties of cucurbits. Now I got me a patch of blue bayou winter squash or pumpkin growing here. It's not that big of an area, probably about 20 by 30. I put three rows in there. And I tell you, I've been really impressed with this variety. Nice aggressive vines, putting on a lot of fruit, got blooms everywhere. Now this variety right here is known for its heirloom quality fruit has a lot of high sugar content in the fruit, and it's a good eating pumpkin. But what's best of all is it's disease resistant, powder mildew and downy mildew resistant. Although I got a disease resistant variety here, sometimes in these challenging years where we got a lot of high heat and a lot of high humidity, we're still gonna have a little bit of problems with disease. You can see here some of my older leaves are infected with downy mildew. With downy mildew, it starts out with these little yellow spotches on the leaves. Unlike a nutrient deficiency where you'll have a complete yellow casting to the leaf, you'll see these little yellow spotches. As they get bigger and bigger, they start to degrade that leaf. And eventually, it'll start looking like this. Unlike powdery mildew with downy mildew, we really can't cure it. What we have to do is grow our way out of it. These older leaves are infected, so our new growth is coming along. We want to protect it from being infected with the downy. So what we do is we spray the new foliage with complete disease control and liquid cop. I alternate the two, and that forms a protective layer around that leaf to keep it from being infected. To be successful growing some of these cucurbits in your garden, such as winter squash, summer squash, cucumbers, and pumpkins, the first key is understanding what diseases they may be prone to. Once you understand those diseases, then you know how to treat them. Using some of these all natural disease controls and then picking up some of these disease resistant varieties will help you have a lot healthier plant and a lot more to harvest. If you're interested in any of these products or seeds we use today, we'll put some links below. Hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next week on Gardening with Greg. Mm -hmm.